Hey there, this is Chris, and I have a quick case study I want to share with you. Um, I just did a coaching call with one of my clients, and we were talking about some of the beliefs and constructs that she has around how she gets things done, the level of stress she experiences while she's doing a lot of busy work, and um, how she was called a procrastinator growing up. So we, we cleared a lot of the beliefs and the constructs, conclusions that she has around how she gets things done. And it was so fascinating to me. As soon as she said, well, I've also was called a procrastinator when I was growing up, it really clicked for me just how, you know, when we're talking about beliefs and um, how they get created as a child, uh, you know, before the age of seven, What's fascinating to me is that, you know, oftentimes we, we, we're clearing those beliefs um, as a practitioner, a coach, or a hypnotherapist, or therapist, or whatever. And the thing is, is that when I look at someone's design, I can see where I, could, I can tell them, it, you know, it makes perfect sense why you were called that growing up, because energetically, you might have a predisposition to it. But being a procrastinator is actually your body's way of saying, I need a transition here. I need to do something differently energetically. So let me tell you what I mean by that. So looking at her design, we have at the very bottom, the root center here, the bottom arrow um, is pointing to it. And then over here, this other black arrow is pointing to the spleen center. So really, really quickly, without going through a ton of information about this, uh, the root center is the center of taking action, and it's a pressure center. And when someone has that center white, like my client does here, um, we're not going to look at the gates right now, just the center itself. It's white. And so what happens is that she's very susceptible to conditioning from other people who have that center colored in. Our charts, are we communicate energetically first and foremost. And so our charts are always communicating. We're turning each other on and off in all these different centers, depending and gates and channels, depending on what we have colored in and other people have colored in and what we have white and vice versa. And what, so, so what happens is that in that root center, she is not necessarily designed to, you know, get up and go. I say, you have a pilot light that takes a while to get warmed up before you're ready to take action in this in her design right here now i have this center colored in and so for me my pilot light is lit when i get out of bed in the morning i hit both feet hit the floor and i'm ready to go i don't take warm-up time it doesn't i don't have to warm up to that right my pilot light is going for her it takes a while now the combination between having the root center and the spleen center here both undefined um, Here's an interesting thing that I've noticed over time, um, not only in some of my clients' designs, but also in our daughter, Anya's design. She has a similar design to this. And that is that they tend to live in their own time-space continuum. <laughs> in fact, they have a different relationship to time than, than a lot of us, maybe even most of us. Good, bad, right, or wrong, it doesn't matter. It's just a different way of dealing with time. And um, many of my clients who have kids who have that similar um, design structure right there will say that it's like, oh my God, they procrastinate. Um, they take, they have a different, a more difficult time transitioning between activities. Um, it takes them forever to get something done, it seems like. Um, it seems like they don't have any concept of time whatsoever. So if any of this rings true for you, um, you are in good company, number one. And number two, there's nothing wrong with you. But it does help you to understand how to work with this kind of a design. This is exactly the kind of stuff I'm going to be talking about next week on the um, Your Design in Action live workshop call. So join us. The link is in the post. Join us for that. If you are having questions and you're wondering, like, why do I get so stressed out when I have projects to do? 
or why do I take so much time to transition or my kid takes time to transition, um, any of that kind of stuff. Those are the types of things we're going to talk about, the quote unquote shadow or challenge side of your design. So let me tell you though what I, what I did tell this client and that is number one, her procrastination I, my sense of it was that it was actually her body's way of giving herself transition time that is more natural to her true energetic resonance, her true energetic state. And the other people's judgments that they have around procrastinating, she took those on and made them her own. When in reality, they are just unnatural ways of moving through the world for her. Not making anyone wrong, not saying that the people around her for pressuring her are wrong. It's just energetic. If you take it to the energetic level, it makes perfect sense. So yeah, we still have to clear her constructs and her beliefs and everything she took in around how her energy flows, but also giving her different tools to work more in alignment with how her energy best flows. So I hope that you found this helpful. And if you have more questions about this or you have a design that's similar, or maybe you have a kid whose design is similar, then you'll want to join us for the design and action call. Uh, that is on May 17th. Uh, the, the link is in the post. I hope to see you there. All right. Take care. Bye.